Hey everyone, my name is Sarah. Welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be doing um, my kind of a first impression slash demonstration and review of this Pro Fusion All-in-One Palette. Um, it is the Beauty Superstars 23 piece complete beauty collection. Um, so this will have everything besides foundation, concealer, and brows. Um, it also doesn't have anything for lashes, so um, I'm going to get most of my look with this. As you can tell, I've already done my foundation, under eye concealer, primed my lids with concealer, set my areas with my powder, and did my brows. Um, so I'm just going to let you know really quick what I used before I get started with the products in that box. Um, my primer was built into my moisturizer, so um, I moved on to foundation with the Lancome Tiante Dull. I used the shade 090. So I applied that with the Beauty Blender, and then I also applied the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Chantilly, um, also with the Beauty Blender. Did my brows with Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Ash Brown. So here we go. Used her number 12 brush to apply. And then I set everything with um, Patrick's Powder from MAC, which is technically like a pro set powder in the color peach. I know everybody's like, oh, it's sold out. You can still get it, it just won't come in this fancy packaging. Um, I haven't done any setting spray um, or anything else. I have a little bit of a balm on my lips just because they were getting dry. Um, with that being said, we are going to bust into this. I got this at my local Target for $10. It opens like so. You get um, highlight, bronzer, um, contour blush, 15 shadows, and then um, a blending brush, a lip topper, and a black eyeliner. So here's hoping that everything works and blends and doesn't have a lot of fall down. I haven't touched any of these things. I've only opened it to just see what the inside looks like. So I'm going to finish my complexion here. And pretty much the whole thing just lifts out. So that'll actually be kind of helpful. I'm just going to disassemble it all right now if I can do so without breaking off the nail. Ain't that some shit? So the labels <clears throat> for everything are printed on the clear plastic and not on the black. So um, the contour shade is called Lucky. The bronzer is called Sparks, I believe. Oh no, I'm backwards on these. <laughs> okay, so the um, contour shade is called Medium Sculpt, so I'll be doing that. Um, and then the bronzer is called Brilliant Bronzer. Blushes are Sparks and Lucky, and then the highlight shade is called Smashing. Um, I think it's kind of silly that they print the words on the clear plastic rather than on the black, because as soon as you take it, if you throw this away, you have no idea what they're called. Um, so I'm going to start out by bronzing. Um, I like to bronze before I contour because I don't want anything to drag down and get muddy. Um, for bronzer application, I'm going to use this brush from MAC. This is the, I think, 129 Special Edition or something like that. It's from their Fruity Juicy collection. I bought it last year, um, but we're just going to touch into the bronzer. Tap off excess and then... Maybe start by like going along the hairline. I don't really bronze usually because I'm so freaking pale. It looks kind of strange on me. You can see it's depositing in that one spot real easy. But yeah, I just go really light-handed with my bronzer. So I really push that into my hairline. Fingers crossed that this turns out because I have stuff to do today. Errands to run. Okay, well, first impression I mean, it applies, it has pigment, but it's too dark for me. Like, way too dark. Oh. I'm kind of regretting this already. I'm not adding anything extra to this brush. I'm just taking my time and praying to the makeup gods that I'll get a blend and that it won't look muddy. I'm going to attempt to take a little bit more of that and 
rounds my cheeks. For contour, I'm going to use that medium sculpt cool tone shade and once again, treading lightly with this, I'm going to apply it with a 109 from MAC. So, ooh, that has a lot of, lot of powder when you touch it, so be very careful if you get this. Contour is something too that I really can't be bothered with these days, just because it tends to look a little bit strange. against my pale skin, but if it's in this kit, we're going to try it out. So my initial thoughts so far was just these first two products and the viewfinder, I think they're looking okay, we'll find out once this gets edited. At least for the bronzer and contour, I'm not feeling it, but these are just products that I don't typically use anyway, so that's probably having a big impact on why I'm not quite feeling it. Um, I am going to move on to highlight before I move on to blush. So the highlight color is called Smashing. It's this metal shade here, this kind of goldy one. So the product definitely picks up very easily. I won't focus on my brush, it's still focus on me, but... I'm a highlight junkie, so this better perform. It seems to be catching the light quite nice. One thing I'll give it credit for in terms of the packaging, the pans are large enough so that you're not touching into the other pans while you're trying to pick up product. So that's a plus. I think this would be better suited for like medium skin tones in terms of the complexion products. But on camera, they do look pretty. At least in my viewfinder, they're looking fine. And then for blush, I'm going to take Sparks and Lucky, the two ones here. I'm just going to mix those together. Um, I'm going to use, let's see here, a MAC. can't even see what number is on here, but some MAC blush brush. Just kind of back and forth. It picks up, tapping it off. skin isn't terrible. I'll give a lot of credit to the products I put on first before I started putting on all of this. Yeah, the bottom two are nose for me, but like I said, I don't use bronzer or contour all that much for that very reason. The highlight is pretty, at least on camera, and the blush is pretty too. They're very wearable types of colors, so I can't complain about it. It's just... These just aren't the products for me necessarily. So we're going to set that aside and we are going to move on to the eyes. I've never tried anything from this brand before. I've seen it um, hitting the shelves at Target. And I'm breaking one personal rule today. Um, normally I like to clean all my brushes before the first use, uh, but I didn't open this kit until today, so this blending brush is not going to get a pre-wash. Oh, and same thing with um, the eyeshadows. The names are printed on the clear plastic, not on the black plastic, so that part is kind of frustrating, but these shadows look promising in terms of their color story. Um, you get a good amount of mattes to get all your looks done, but you also have a lot of fun shimmers, so you can really take it places. Um, since my eyes are already primed, um, I'm going to take a 239 from MAC, and I'm going to take this kind of cream shade right here. What is it called? Polite. And I'm going to take that on my 239. Picks up pretty easy. Wow. It's kind of more of a satin than a matte. I'm just going to highlight the brow with that. All right, well, for that one, that's a winner. That works really, really well. All right, so then I'm going to take the Profusion Blender Brush and the shade, let's see here, Heavenly. It's kind of this peachy neutral tone, matte. So it definitely um, doesn't have a problem 
picking up. There we go. Now it's focusing a little. Um, I'm just going to fluff this through the upper crease. Soft brush feels really nice. Not really wild about short handles, but that's a first world problem. And this particular shade does blend well. Okay, and then on a brush that's still large enough for blending, but not as large as that Profusion brush, I'm going to take a Sigma E35, and I'm going to go into this color right here. It's called Outgoing, and they have a little bit of kick up, but nothing, nothing you can't handle. Always knocking up excess, and then... Deepening up that crease a little. So I will say, for $10, everything so far is not bad. Pigmentation is there. They're not super messy. You don't have to pick up a lot of product, which means you're not going to have a lot falling down. Pretty so far. Next, you couldn't guess, I'm going to go in with this warm brown called... Fearless to lean over and look at that clear plastic. I'm gonna take it on a 217. Picks up nice. Tapping out the excess and once again into the crease. So far all the mats are blending beautifully. Really my only criticism of this was that they put the labels on the clear part instead of this. If you're just going to store it all in that box anyway, it would have made so much more sense. Just label this and get rid of that plastic. I guess the silver lining is that they'll always be protected because they have to be covered. Unless you don't care about the names. Alright, same blender brush. I'm going to go into the next matte color right here. That is called Zing. And I'm just going to put that kind of like on the outer portion of my lid. I really can't believe this was a $10 kit. These shadows are pretty outstanding. And still, nothing is falling down. As long as I'm tapping off excess, that's enough to avoid fall down. And that's really impressive. Final layer of that. So we're gonna darken up the outer corner even more. But I want a nice gradient. And the kick-up isn't even that bad. I mean, honestly, it's just enough to tell you that they didn't pack these down too hard during manufacturing, but not so much that it's making a giant mess. So this is really pretty so far. Okay, now moving on to an even smaller brush and the darkest matte in the palette. It's like this dark purple-brown. My viewfinder, it looks a lot different, but it's a dark purpley-brown. It reminds me a lot of, like and bark or shadowy lady from mac um and that deepest one is called trouble so picking that up with 221 see that color just deposits right into those bristles this one doesn't have nearly as much kick up and then tapping that off really deepening up this outer corner i am impressed I did not have a high expectation for a kit that cost $10. It's not me being pessimistic, it's just it's $10. And these days, more often than not, what you pay for is what you get. And it's really ballsy to use that really dark color after I've already done everything else on the face. And look, like there's just no fall down. None. Colors are blending into each other really well. Now I'm jinxing myself because I didn't knock off the excess that I have fall down. That is not the fault of the product. Now, it's time for the lid color. There are a lot of choices here. Another day I'm gonna try this really bright aqua shade, but I think for today to just keep it a little bit more wearable for the public, I'm gonna go for this pink shimmer. That is called Poise. So I'm going to pick that up on a 242 from MAC. I'm going to try applying it dry. So I'm just really loading up the brush. 
so far these everything else has performed beautifully and if this falls down it'll be really easy to just dust away I'm not worried about it so we're just gonna see what happens pretty kind of chunky and glittery but once again I'm not seeing anything fall down and part of me wants to try this with setting spray, but I'm afraid that it'll just go in a really bad direction. It's, n it's not bad. It could be better. And actually, before I try packing more on with that brush, I'm going to see maybe if I can pick it up with a finger. Because it swatches real pretty. No, we're gonna just go back to the brush. The finger doesn't seem to make any real impact on the way it applies. It's not bad. Like I said, this shadow could have been better. So the mattes in this palette have certainly proven to be a winner. I suspect that um, this lovely aqua color shade that's calling to me would have been a similar situation and probably had a lot of fall down. Because as I get a closer look into my mirror, I don't have anything that landed on me which I said is very, very impressive. Um, just attempt to just away like the teeny bit that did fall down, but like I said, that was user error. That is not the fault of the product because I forgot to tap off my brush. So then for lower lash line, I'm gonna take that 221 and I'm gonna wipe it on my towel here, get that dark shade out of it. And I'm going to go back in with this. I'm gonna start um, adding those matte shades to my bottom lash line. Okay, so then I'm going to go in with the color Fearless on that same 221. Bring that on the under part. All right, and then on a Sigma E30 pencil brush, I am going to pick up that darkest one called Trouble. I'm going to swatch this pencil on my hand before I actually try it on my eyelid or a waterline. Saturated black feels soft enough. Probably just put it in my waterline because I don't want to do anything up top because I don't think I'm going to wear fake lashes today. Well, it applies super easy. Well, that was real quick and easy. I have no complaints about the pencil. I think it's pretty legit. It's just called the um, Perfusion Eyeliner Pencil. It has no color on it. We can see it's your standard black. So as you can see um, so far with the kit, it will give you a smoky eye. You can achieve multiple looks, obviously, but it will definitely give you that smoky eye that a lot of people desire. Um, so I'm going to apply some mascara. I'm using Kush Mascara from Milk. Be doing top and bottom lashes. We're almost done here. Actually, though, before I do that, I want to set my face. I've mixed a couple of setting sprays in the Mist and Fix bottle, so it was kind of like half Mist and Fix and half high performance setting spray by Cover FX. The sprayer on the Cover FX bottle for me just wasn't working, so I dumped it in here with that ball bearing, so I was just give it a shake. lock it all down. Oh, we're looking cute. Definitely not looking bad. So while that's drying, I'm going to apply my mascara. I love this mascara, by the way. I think it's awesome. And the eyeliner isn't bad, but it's already wearing off and transferring to the tight line area. So if that's something that would bother you, then you may not enjoy it. All right, we're looking pretty good so far. Um, final step is the lip. So for the base of the lip, I'm going to use this YSL Matte Lip Stain in the shade 25. And then from this Profusion set, we have a sparkling lip topper. So I think this will actually look really pretty over the YSL. It's just, it's so tiny. It's, it's too freaking cute. Ooh, it's a brush applicator rather than a doe foot. I'm kind of stiff. That's really beautiful dimension though. There we go. 
Just pushed it into a paper towel to break it down. It's still stiff though. It's a sticky formula, but very pretty. So that is the total look um, with the Profusion Full Face Set, or what is it called here? <clears throat> Complete Beauty Collection, excuse me. So the Profusion Beauty Superstars 23 piece Complete Beauty Collection. I said I grabbed this for $10 at my local Target here in Minnesota. I think Profusion is maybe limited to Target or I don't know. Um, the back gives you all the ingredients and um, details and things on like how to create a look. So check it out if you're interested. I, like I said, I picked this up, bought this with my own money. Nobody sponsors me. My channel hasn't gotten big enough yet. Yet being that keyword. So um, that is it for today's video. If you have any questions or comments about this product, that's gross. Didn't take long for it to collect, um, so don't use too much of it. Um, just leave your questions and comments down in the comment section down below. And also, I'm going to finish this with a spritz of a fragrance. Today I'm using um, the YSL Black Opium. Um, stuff smells amazing. It's a little bit different from what I normally go for, but it's nice. It's, it, to me, it smells kind of classy. And I've been working on kind of using my fragrances on that regular basis. So I like to do that after I complete my look. Um, so that's the video. Thank you for being here. Please um, click the thumbs up button. Subscribe to my channel if you've made it this far and you are not already subscribed. And that will be it. I will see you all in my next video. Thank you so much. Bye.